So let's take a look at the interior of the 2024 Toyota Tacoma and see what's different. Pretty much everything. Okay, let's start, I guess, over here on the driver's side. First of all, when you open the door, everything looks different. From the vents, to the dials, to the gauge cluster, to the switches. By the way, these I added. If you want to know what those are, you'll have to check out a previous video. But let's start on the door. Um, we've got the TRD stamped or embossed, raised, I guess, lettering here on the side. Got a different look for the speaker cover, different places to put stuff. We've got a different kind of pattern here on the grab part of the door. Love that. And even pewter here now instead of chrome. That is a good thing. One thing that I noticed recently, I'll give you a little bit of an Easter egg. Over here on the side, we have a cover that has some sort of, I don't know what, it's almost like Braille on it. But this actually comes off. I don't know what it's for. Maybe in a different trim level it's for something else, but you've got kind of a hidden storage area there. Again, it must have a purpose. I don't know. Uh, continuing on, we've got the leather wrap steering wheel. A little bit different center treatment here. It's more of a rectangular feature, I guess. And then, of course, all the buttons and stuff and a pewter finish here instead of any kind of chrome or maybe piano finish. I like that much better. Don't have really any piano finish surfaces in here. That's cool. We have the TRD Sport cloth mats. Those are going to have to be replaced. And then, of course, different seats. They feel different. They're a little bolstered on the side, as you can see here. I don't know if it's different in the off-road, maybe, or the lower trims, but we've definitely got some bolstering in here. And kudos to Toyota. They didn't make it so narrow that you have to be really, really thin to fit in here. Nice and comfortable. Hugs you, keeps you going. On the sides, this, of course, is a manual seat. Used to be all electric, but now you have to go up in packages to get that. Although I will say we do have a button here for a lumbar that is electric, just inflates and deflates the air bladder in here. Moving on in, let's go ahead and jump up here. Um, the gauge cluster, of course, is completely different. I'll start it up real quick. You guys can see what it looks like. Uh, I do have it set uh, a more sporty look. You can change that. I'll have a video coming out showing you guys uh, how to change that, I suppose. The infotainment system over here, kind of a floating feature, if you will. Doesn't look too bad in here. Gotta say, I do like it better. I don't know if it has a different finish than the one that I looked at uh, in the silver TRD Sport, but this one looks a lot better for some reason. The first one I looked at was kind of cartoonish. I think it might have had a different finish. I'm not sure. We have the red TRD start button up here, and then the whole center area here. Um, everything is redone here. We've got some nice beefy buttons up here if you want to change the air conditioning and all that stuff. Big giant knobs to be able to change the airflow and temperature settings and all that kind of thing. And then we have the place where you'd, I guess, put your phone down here. This does not have the wireless charging. Uh, which is okay with me because, frankly, I never used that before, so that's not a big deal for me. Um, in the center area here, we have a bigger, bulkier uh, shift knob with TRD right in the front part of it here. Nice little touch. I like that. And then the parking brake. It is electronic now. The gear selector indicator. And then a bunch of spots for buttons if you have... I guess other options on the truck than what I have. And then the dreaded auto stop feature. A little bit of controversy as to whether or not this is on all trim levels. I thought it was, but it turns out it may not be. To be continued, I guess. And then some storage right down here. And then a nice big grab area for the passenger when they get in, or maybe uh, a place to put your hand, I guess, when you're driving. Although, bit of a stretch for me but if you're taller more vertically gifted and have longer limbs might be better for you we have two cup holders here in the center and then the typical uh, 
storage area right underneath the center console with still a couple of uh, storage areas right here uh, for the back seat passengers or even to put extra stuff for the driver and I like that you can reach this uh, from the driver's seat so that's pretty cool let's go around to the passenger side gonna go ahead and turn the truck off no reason to leave it sit and run and I guess burn fuel get to see that nice red uh, color as we go around I really do like the color on this truck it is awesome stepping over here to the passenger side uh, the door treatment of course is the same and by the way we do have a spot for looks like three bottles down here and then a flat spot to be able to store stuff if you want passenger side as usual they get not much it is a, a manual seat there is no lumbar at least in this version over here on the side we have a bit of a molly panel it looks like to be able to maybe hook things in if you want and then a hook here if you have maybe a bag or two from Lowe's or the grocery store or something you can kind of put it over that to hold it so all of your stuff doesn't fly out all over the truck we have storage up here above the glove box I like this and then our raised Tacoma lettering feature here not sure how I feel about this um, I'm sure there's going to be something from tough skins that can go over this to accentuate it a little bit more right now this is probably the only piano type finish uh, in the truck uh, but I don't think it gets scratched up or anything unless you're really putting a lot of maybe more abrasive stuff in this storage area here we do have a grab handle of sorts it's very small uh, over here let's make sure you guys can see over here on the uh, passenger side no grab handle over there on the driver's side still does have a dash cam in it that's an option the truck did come with that just noticed kind of an unfinished area right here this is just kind of open wiring kind of strange they didn't put a cover over that but whatever of course your rear view mirror and the rear view mirrors themselves pretty standard they are lighted as you can see there and then the center area up above we have a storage area for business cards in my case or maybe sunglasses and then your lights and your SOS thing eh, not a big deal those are touch activated didn't know that let's take a look it is a locking glove box about the same space maybe a little more than the last one it looks like the spot right in here uh, where you can change the cabin air filter now let's take a look in the back not really much more room back here than in the front you can see over there is where I would have my seat set at or set at and it's really not uh, a lot more room if any more room you can fit in there but still kind of tight we do have the headrests that fold down just like before underneath we have some storage you guys can see very little over here there's more on the other side let's take a look there you can see I've got some stuff in there already these are not covered it's all open I do think that's better because you can put more stuff in here you're not limited and it is a bigger area overall I think than what we had in the last uh, version the seats they do fold down Let's give a pull and there is still storage right back here behind and one thing that Toyota did that I really like you no longer have to screw with removing the headrests or squeezing them in when you want to put the seats down with them folded down forward like this they fit right over the seats and you don't have to stow them anywhere I kind of like that I think that's a, a good improvement we do still have the hook over here for the seat belt to keep that thing quiet when you're driving around and the jack and stuff is now behind the seat here it used to be right down in this area so they freed up some space for us there now on the doors let's take a quick look at those we have looks like about two and a half uh, slots for water bottles or whatever we do have the TRD uh, raised lettering back here on the door and the typical slot down here with no carpeted thing in it by the way uh, to be able to grab the door and close it 
Grab handles on each side. I know someone had asked about that. We do have grab handles on each side. A little pocket back here on the passenger side only to be able to stow some stuff. And then over here we do have an outlet. Let's see. Looks like uh, your typical what used to be cigarette lighter type outlet. And then again access for cups or whatever for the passengers. Up top, we have the light back here, and then we have a couple of uh, hooks, probably for clothes or anything else that you might want to put back here. One thing I do want to mention, this does not have the sliding window in it. That, I believe, is part of a higher trim level, so if you go up in packages, you can get that sliding window. I don't have that. And then, checking in the center here, there is no pull-down armrest. Would have been nice if Toyota kind of stuck one in there so that you'd have a spot to be able to stow stuff in the center, like cups or whatever. Ah, but they do not. Anyway, that is uh, a quick look at the inside of the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, definitely uh, some improvements in there, I think. Uh, I think there is a heck of a lot more room in the front and it makes it feel like it's a much better truck than it is. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, bye.